If you're watching this video, it's because you want to improve your credit score. And why wouldn't you? Life is better with good credit. And here's some news for you. Companies that claim to repair your credit score actually have less power to do that than you do. They intentionally drag it out so they can charge you more money and usually violate laws in the process. You are more than capable of doing what credit repair companies charge you for all by yourself. And your hard earned money is better off in your pocket anyways. I'm going to walk you through step by step exactly what these companies do to raise your credit score and how you can do it better. Quick disclaimer, I'm not an attorney or an accountant. I'm just a small business owner. I just want to share stuff that I'm passionate about. I want to help you guys out in the process. So take everything I say with a grain of salt, do your own research, and this is just an educational video. The reason I'm making this video is because I'm involved with several online communities and I notice a trend that there's a lot of people out there who want to repair their credit and they don't know how to. I'm always happy to advise anybody who wants to repair their credit, but the first thing I have to tell you is don't pay for a credit repair service. I wanted to make this video so that you have all the information you need to dispute items on your credit, raise your credit score all in one place. I've been trying to make this video over the course of the last couple days and it kept turning out way too long, way too boring. And the problem is it's so much information I'm trying to cram into such a short period of time. You can check that out if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it because all the important stuff is going to be in this video. This one's quick, right to the point, tells you everything that you're going to need to know. Consider this the abbreviated video. But if you enjoy what you're gonna to see today, consider subscribing so that you'll be kept up to date with all of the latest videos that I put out. I'm gonna be releasing a series of videos and they're all gonna be devoted to getting you that perfect credit score. Also, tell me in the comments below what you'd like to see my next video on. I'd like to hear your ideas. Feel free to ask any questions. I'll answer every single one of them, I promise. And that will give me a better idea of what you guys wanna learn about and what I should make my future videos on. I think my next one might be about how to establish credit from having no credit, which is a difficult thing to do, but it's not impossible. I'll make a video at some other point. Is that something you guys would want to see? Or I can teach you how to use the credit that you have already to gradually and steadily increase the credit score that you have now. If you're unhappy with your current credit score, I can tell you this. By the time you finish watching this video, you'll know what those credit repair services do and you'll know how you can do it better. So let's get this started. What do credit repair services do? This is very simple, no matter how complicated they might try to make it sound. They send out letters to the credit bureaus and they dispute negative information on your credit report. That's all, that's all they do. They spread it over the course of months and they charge you a fee, like $100 a month to do this. You can do it in one day. These companies claim that they have special relationships with the credit bureaus, but in fact, they don't. The credit bureaus hate these companies. So what these companies do is instead of saying, I'm a company that is representing this person to help them with their credit, they just forge your signature at the bottom of the letter. They pretend that they are you and they send the letters out that you can sign. They don't want you to know this because they want to do it and make the money off of it. But I don't think that's right and I think you should just do it yourself. Don't pay those companies, they're crooks. I have literally seen them superimpose signatures or just flat out forge signatures at the bottom of letters. And the first time I saw this, it was because I utilized one of their services. They had put the wrong address for TransUnion on a letter that they were trying to send out and the return address up in the top left corner of the envelope was my personal address. So they sent the letter out, it got bounced back to me, I found it in my mail, I opened it up, and I was shocked when I saw that they forged my signature. And this company's still around today. They're still one of the biggest names. When you search for credit repair services on Google, you're going to see the name of the company that did this right on the front page in the top few results. Needless to say, I canceled the service and I did it myself from then on out. My current business partner, who at the time was a coworker of mine, me and him were both disputing things on our credit and we were competing to see who could get the highest credit score. And it's something we still do to this day. Over the years since we've been doing this, we've learned a lot of very important things and a lot of things that I think you'll find helpful. First of all, there's no limit to how many items you can dispute when you send a dispute letter into the credit bureaus. You can dispute everything in your credit report in one letter if you want to. And second, more often than not, when something is disputed, it's taken off of your credit report. And I'm gonna explain exactly why that happened. This is because when you dispute something on your credit report, it has to go through a long series of steps in order for them to keep it on there. The FCRA, or Fair Credit Reporting Act, is a federal law that requires the credit bureaus that are negatively impacting your credit report 
to provide documentation to prove where they're getting this information from and to prove that it's legitimate. It's to protect you, the consumer, but the FCRA is about to become your best friend because you're going to get your credit score higher than you ever thought it could be because of this law. Let me take you through what happens when you dispute an item on your credit report. The credit bureau receives a letter from you that says you would like to dispute or verify something that's on your credit report. The credit bureau is then required by law to provide you proof in writing within 30 days if they're going to keep it on your credit report. The credit bureau then sends a request for validation to the agency or the creditor that's sending the bad information to the credit bureaus. They request the validation, exactly where did these accounts come from, why are they at the balances that it says they're at. Basically any negative information on your report is going to be backed up or removed from your credit report completely. The company that reported this negative information to the credit bureaus, they have three choices. They don't respond, in which case it automatically gets removed from your credit report within 30 days. They spend a considerable amount of time putting together documents to validate the debt or they simply reply by saying we don't have the requested documents, we can't back this off, we don't have time put the validation together. Whatever the case is, if they respond and say that they don't have it or they won't be providing it, it gets removed off your credit report immediately. The reason the creditors almost never respond with proper validation is because the documents that constitute proper validation under the Fair Credit Reporting Act are very specific, very complicated, and someone who specializes in compliance is going to have to draft these up. It'll probably cost the creditor more money to have a compliance manager draft up these documents than to just have it taken off of your report. After all, the debt isn't worth that much to them when you take into account the fact that they have millions of other accounts to manage. But even if they do respond with proper validation, the credit bureau has to review these documents to see if they constitute proper validation under the FCRA, in which case they have to forward the documents to you. If they do keep it on your credit report without constituting proper validation under the FCRA, this opens the creditor and the credit bureaus up to potential lawsuits. So what would you do if you were the creditor? I'll tell you what you would do. You would cut your losses and move on. You literally have a million other accounts to manage. Why are you gonna worry about one person that either clearly doesn't wanna pay their account or thinks that the information you're providing is wrong. After all, it might be. So much of this stuff is automated these days that there's a good chance that you're going to find something inaccurate on your credit report. It just simply is not worth the time or risk involved with validating an item on someone's credit report after a dispute's been filed. Every once in a blue moon, the creditor will respond. The most common would be student loans. But regardless, you have nothing to risk by disputing everything on there. You're simply saying, I have reason to believe that this account may contain an inaccuracy and I would just feel a little bit better about it if I saw the documentation to back this up. Worst case scenario, you're in the exact same place, but this time you know that everything on there is accurate and everything's been validated. That's it. That's the big secret. You do this for every last entry on your credit report that's negatively affecting your credit score. Anything that's negative on your credit report, you dispute it. You ask for validation. In the description below, you'll see a template that you can use. Fill it out, print out three copies, send one copy to each of the three credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Within 30 days, I guarantee you're going to see a higher credit score. You can also do this right online through Credit Karma or annualcreditreport.com, but let's put a pin in that for a second because if you send a hard copy letter in, that's going to give you the best odds of having it removed. When you do it online, it pushes your claim through an automated system. It has less oversight, less validation, and it's more likely to stay on your report. If you send a letter in writing, it actually has to go through several channels that require actual people to review it. That's time consuming, it's difficult, and that's why it gets removed from your credit report. Not to say that disputing it online isn't a good idea. You can always do that and then dispute it later in writing if you'd like. Keep in mind that Credit Karma only allows you to do this with your TransUnion and your Equifax credit reports. You can go directly to the Experian site, you can sign up there, see your credit report and your credit score right on the Experian website and then you can dispute it through there. Better yet, if you haven't gone to annualcreditreport.com this year, go there right now, check it out, get all three copies of your credit reports, one from each bureau, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. You can then dispute everything right online, right through each of those three websites. Unfortunately, you can only do that once a year. So the next best thing is Credit Karma because it gives you two out of your three credit reports for free. You can check it anytime. You can monitor your credit score and your credit reports, and they're all gonna be fairly similar anyways. So if it's this easy, why do credit repair companies charge four 
hundred dollars or more and drag this out over the course of months? Well, that's a good question. So you tell me if you find an answer to that. But I would have to imagine it's because most people just don't know how easy this actually is. I made a terrible video over the course of the last two days because I tried to go way too far in depth explaining all of this. So I'll put an annotation on the screen. You can click on that and you can watch the video. It's like 35 minutes long, but it goes into great detail exactly where your credit score comes from, what all the components of your credit report are, so it breaks it all down, you can understand it, it has charts and graphs and all that kind of stuff. Really boring, it's like a high school lecture. It's also a very embarrassing video and I have to admit that right now. It's edited poorly, but it is very informative. If you wanna learn more about any of the stuff I mentioned in this video and get more into detail about how your credit score works, where the things on your credit report come from, what your credit report is made out of, how important different things are, then you can watch that video. It'll explain all of that there. Check out the description below for a link to the dispute documents, the names and addresses of the credit bureaus where you're going to be sending those dispute documents, and other helpful information. Comment below. Let me know if you found this useful. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll answer every single question in the comments. And tell me what you'd like to see the next video be about. Only give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And if you want to see more of these videos for anything credit related, click subscribe and press the little bell icon so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. I'll be doing a lot more videos very similar to this one. Each one will be about something credit related and something helpful that'll help get you that perfect credit score. Good luck with your disputes and have an amazing day.